Folsom Field, quiet as usual come early March. But on the CU campus Wednesday, the University of Colorado football team held its 2010 Pro Timing Day, looking to impress NFL scouts in a combine like that. Former Buffalo captain and inside linebacker Marcus Burton did his best to impress scouts during his Pro Timing Day. I, mean, I think I did pretty good. It was a solid workout. Um, obviously, as a competitor, you always think you can do better, but I think I feel pretty good about it. Scouts from around the league tested players' broad jump, vertical leap, and three cone drills, testing speed and agility of former Buffalo participants. Some scouts even get to know potential employees on a more personal level. So what do they discuss? general question would be his family background. Are there any, any issues there? Uh, does he have any issues dealing with suspensions, the law that we need to know about? Because we're going to find out about it, so you have a chance right now to be upfront and honest with us. Uh, the importance for pro days like at Colorado, some of the guys here weren't at the company, so it's your chance to get a chance to see them perform and then compare them to the guys that were at the combine. Tight end Ryer Greer was the only member of the Buffalo's roster from last season to receive an invite to the NFL Combine in Indianapolis. The Grand Junction native did not participate in CU's Pro Day as he decided to stick with his scores from Indy. So with Greer on the sideline, all but assured to hear his name called April 25th in New York City, one member of the Buffalo's roster looked to take full advantage of the spotlight. Safety Ben Bruni ran a 4-3-8-40, a score that easily would have been tops at the NFL Combine. All the drama, the, uh, the nerves with coaches out here and everything, what you do is you just say, hey, I know what I am, I know what I can do, so let me go out here and do it. And like I told a couple other guys, I felt like today was my birthday, and I was able to open up all my gifts in front of everybody. And so you come out with that kind of mindset and listen to happy old school music like The Temptations and Lionel Richie, I mean, you're going to feel good about yourself and you're going to do good. See you Sports Mag, Andrew Tomasini.